What is up guys, Monster Gym Fanatic here and today we have a little Target haul and here as you can see we have the Husky and Rottweiler 2 pack. This is the second to newest mix that I've hit Target. I haven't found the newest mix yet but that mix is like really bad. Like this mix is pretty bad. That one may be a little bit worse but this one at least there's one new truck or at least one new variant for each mix. So with the two other um double packs that we got in this mix we only have three overall. We usually have four. I don't know what was up with this but we had the Boneyard Gravedigger and Calavera. We already got the Gravedigger but that Calavera, I believe, was different. I already got that one, and then I already got this one too. We have that Batman with the yellow roll cage. That was a new variant, and then that Dragonoid was the same. I already sold that duplicate. Thank God I got rid of that because I had no use for it. And now we have the Monster Mount Husky and Monster Mount Rottweiler. So if you guys don't know, the Monster Mount Rottweiler is a repeat. Monster Mount Husky is a new variant with the blue roll cage. But I have a purpose for this Monster Mount Rottweiler right here, and we'll get into that after we open this. We also have a 124 scale, but let's take this out of the package first. All right, let's get a quick little look at Husky right here. We won't take a look at Rottweiler too much, although I love the B box and the copper color on the the, uh, the B box and the BKTs. But here is Husky. We have blue rims, the BKT on the tires, the blue roll cage, matching headers. We don't have a painted header or engine bay, which sucks, but it's all good. Gray chassis, pretty bland right there. The Husky itself is just like all the other ones that we got. I think we got two other ones. This is our third variant, but still pretty cool looking one. Husky is uh, out of all the monster mutts that they have made, the real life version version a husky is one of my favorite dogs next to german shepherd so i do like the husky so there's that we have rottweiler now let's take a look at the calavera 124 scale here is one that i got at target it was either this or soldier fortune you know i had some money on me and i was like you know what i haven't gotten a 124 scale from the store in a while i've actually gotten a couple old hotless monster gym ones and then i got a 124 scale zombie spin master um for my collectible store a couple weeks ago so i was like why not add another 124 scale i don't want a huge 124 scale collection obviously my main focus are 164 scales but you know what it doesn't hurt to have a few of these so here are the three on the back that you could also get the grave digger um which is a pretty cool one it's very accurate uh the red grave digger the primer one that was not a bad one either and then soldier fortune so all four of the trucks in this mix are very clean looking trucks they're not fantasy and weird looking with weird roll cages or whatever uh calavera is no exception as you can see not no crazy colors on the roll cage or wheels or anything pretty accurate even though the truck is a fantasy truck and isn't competing in real life as it is is. Uh, they still kept it plain and simple so I'm gonna get this um, open at least I'm gonna get the tape undone here and I'll get back to you guys alrighty alrighty we got this let's give it a little jiggle there we go so here it is this is the card back pretty cool it's, there's the Orlando truck oh I love that truck so much so here is the Calavera here's the little thing it comes in so this is my first truck or 124 Scott I think I unboxed in 2022 I could be wrong but I feel like I had to have gotten one before this but it, it could very well be I don't remember having this little display case there is that pretty cool so here is the calavera this will look very good on my shelf i have a lot of girl trucks like for 124 sales i mean i'm not saying the purple grave diggers one but you know purple is more of a girl color even though it's one of my favorite colors it's considered more of a girl color so i have the purple world finals grave digger the, the purple 30th grave digger sparkle smash and then this calavera all the other the only other 124 scales um from spin master i have other than those four is zombie pirate's curse big kahuna i think that is all actually so yeah i have a lot of pink and purple 124 scales i didn't mean for that to happen but i don't mind it because this is an awesome looking truck so are those especially sparkle smash i don't care if it's pink like it's rare and it looks pretty cool it's a unicorn so here is the truck it says monstergem.com starting off on the grill here with black headlights um nothing really painted on the grill other than the design that's already in the background of majority of the body um we have some skulls some trippy looking stuff on the on the hood um we've already reviewed the 164 scale calavera a couple times a couple different variants have came out but here's the 124 scale you basically plastered bigger so you can see it more clearly you have calavera on the top here on the roof uh more skulls on the side we have whatever those are it looks like some type of fruit but then it also looks like i don't even know guys there's calavera logo right there with the monster logo on the tailgate what do we have here it says calavera monstergm.com sorry i wasn't showing it um then we have bkt's on the tire so glad they did that and then no painted headers well it's black but like just like the rest i was hoping that it would have been like silver or, or something like the engine and headers but it's all good we have some sponsors down there something they don't do from 164 scale i don't really blame them i don't think that'd be very easy to do since they're so much smaller um but there is that i love the sponsors though i love that they do that for the 124 scales very solid 124 scale so now 
that brings me to the next thing. You guys saw uh, this Mutsma Rottweiler right here. And if you guys saw my video a couple weeks back, we took a look at this crazy train right here. And then um, before that a little bit, we even took a look at this buckshot. I said, if the video got a hundred likes knowing it wouldn't, I'll put this crazy train on this Showtime Dragon. I would open this Showtime Dragon and I would take it and put this body on there. Um, it got like 60 likes, which is still crazy. That video actually kind of blew up. Still not a hundred likes. I didn't think it was going to happen anyway. But since we got this Rottweiler, I'm going to put this bad company body on Rottweiler and put this body that uh bad company or not bad company i'm sorry for saying that buckshot my bad is on i'll put crazy train on this chassis right here so i'm gonna get a little screwdriver that's all it takes and i'll get back to you guys this is how we're gonna make the magic happen so i'm gonna time lapse this part we're gonna take all the screws out and swap all the bodies And minutes later just like that we have buckshot let's get the shards of metal out of here and crazy train so here's buckshot on the rottweiler rims now i am aware that this isn't necessarily as accurate honestly what i had it on before was probably more accurate like uh, buckshot doesn't really do uh, bkt's but i do just it just fits the truck so well i think you guys would agree too we're not going to talk about rottweiler here i also can't find the screws so the body's still off but anyways let's take a look at crazy train here actual bkt's i had to keep the true heavy metal body on it and also still have to keep this piece of plastic on the back right there so the truck didn't squat back because it looks stupid um we have this little extended bar out so like it can still do well, not necessarily wheelies but like say in real life if he does a sky wheelie it won't damage the the tailgate part but uh, yeah i have to take that bottom piece off a while back so it wouldn't be rubbing against this part if you guys have this truck it had like a it was like a square shape i had to cut that bottom part off a while back but uh that just looks tough in my opinion guys true metal crazy train just so weird to think about honestly the colors on this one look better but like true metal they, knowing this is like a metal base that's insane so thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed we did kind of get off topic i mean we also had monster Mount husky and then the 124 skill calavera but that's all i wanted to show you guys today thanks for watching once again i hope you guys enjoyed please like comment and of course subscribe if you guys did go on to enjoy and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out